Welcome. I'm Miss Miller, and this video is all about character motivation, because character motivation is what really makes things happen and pushes a plot forward. By the end of this video, you will be able to explain the concept of character motivation, you'll be able to recognize and verbalize what is motivating a character to act, and you'll understand how conflicting motivations cause conflict in a character and between characters. So let's get started. Well, you might be asking yourself, what is motivation? Let me ask you, what motivated you to watch this video right now? You clicked on that link for some reason, probably because a teacher asked you to, or maybe because you were just curious and wanted to learn. Either way, whatever made you do that is your motivation. And just like us, characters have motivation too. So motivation is the reason behind a character's specific action or behavior. Now, characters can be motivated in one of two ways. First, they can be motivated intrinsically. Intrinsic motivation is when the motivation comes from within the character, from their values, beliefs, morals, or goals for their life. But a character can also be motivated extrinsically. Extrinsic motivation are, is things that comes from outside of the character, such as money, prizes, or threats. Your grades in your class are another form of extrinsic motivation. So how do we tell how a character is motivated? Well, we ask ourselves two questions. One, what does the character want? And two, what does the character value? Let's give it a try. Consider the character Katniss Everdeen from Hunger Games. In the beginning of the, fir the first novel, she makes a very big decision to volunteer as tribute in place of her sister Prim. Now, a lot of people were shocked when she made that decision because the Hunger Games are a very dangerous place. Certainly she doesn't want to go there, but it is her values and what she values that lead her to make that decision. We learn early on in the story that she values very strongly her family, her mother and her sister. She's already lost her father and so she's holding tightly to the rest of her family. Those values are motivating her intrinsically to make her decision to volunteer as tribute. We learn about a character's desires and values through their dialogue, their actions, their thoughts, and of course, through what the narrator tells us about that character. These are the things that we have to pay close attention to if we want to determine what a character's motivation is. So, why do we want to know a character's motivation? Well, character motivation is what leads us to the conflict in a story. And this isn't a bad thing. Conflict is what makes a story juicy. When a character has conflicting motivations, this causes internal conflict. Maybe I really, really, really want to go to a concert tonight, but I value my learning and my grades there. And I have homework to do. Therefore, I am internally conflicted about what to do. When two or more characters have conflicting motivations, this causes external conflict. Let's say I don't have homework tonight and I'm going to, I really want to go to that concert, but my best friend calls me up and asks me to go to a party. This is an external conflict because I'm motivated to do one thing, but she's motivating me to do something else. Therefore, the conflict becomes external. So I'd like for you to practice this. I'm going to have you watch a short conversation between two characters, Scott and Jessica. See if you can determine what is motivating each character to say and do the things they do. I thought we were going on a date. We're together, aren't we? The school basketball game does not count as a date, Scott. What if I buy you some nachos? It's still not a date. It's what we do every Friday night. Where is your school spirit? Jessica, our school is going to the state finals. I have plenty of school spirit. What I wanted was a night alone with you. I'm sorry, babe. The team needs us here to cheer them on. Well, I'm going home. I'm sure I have some homework to catch up on. Jessica, you have A's in all of your classes. Yes, and I'd like to keep it the way. Don't be like that, babe. Goodbye, Scott. So, what does Scott want in this scene? 
pause the video and take a few minutes to ask yourself and make some notes. What does Scott want? Well, he wants to watch the basketball game. Why? Because he values school spirit. He also, though, kind of wants to keep his girlfriend. Probably because he cares about her. We can make that inference based on what we saw here. These are both examples of intrinsic motivation. He is intrinsically motivated to watch the basketball game, but also intrinsically motivated to try to keep his girlfriend happy. This is causing internal conflict in Scott. How about Jessica? What does Jessica want? Pause the video and make some notes to yourself. Jessica wants to spend time alone with her boyfriend. Why? Because she cares about him. At the end, she does seem to want to do her homework. And we can only infer that that's because she values good grades. These are also examples of intrinsic motivation causing conflict within the character of Jessica. But when these two motivations collide, we have conflict, juicy conflict that pushes the story forward. Scott's desire to watch the game conflicts with Jessica's desire to spend time alone with him. The conflicting motivations cause external conflict between the two characters that pushes the story forward and make Jessica decide to leave. This is how conflict is created in a story. So we have explained the concept of character motivation. You're able to recognize what motivates a character to act. And you've seen between Scott and Jessica how those conflicting motivations cause conflict that move a story forward. You're ready to go. You definitely understand character motivation.